Hi, we're here with Scott Ferguson from Teledyne Energy Systems, and in front of us here is a hydrogen fuel cell used in submersible systems. Scott, when do you have to go with a fuel cell instead of a battery on some of these um, autonomous systems? So batteries are presently used today for shorter duration missions where we're looking at hours to maybe up to a day of a, of a run time. It's typically on the order of eight hours. When you're looking at ex extended missions, you need a, a different power source. You need a different energy conversion, energy storage source. So the fuel cell offers days, weeks, up to two months of, of run time within a UUV. Um, can you tell us what the various pieces, parts are here that we're looking at? Certainly, yes. This is a fully integrated fuel cell system. So this is where the electrochemical conversion takes place. The, uh, the, the hydrogen is fed into one, one side of each of these bipolar plates. There's a membrane electrode assembly with a catalyst layer that, um, that converts the hydrogen and oxygen into water, producing power. This section here is used to manage the, the byproduct water and humidify the react, reactants as they're fed into the stack. And this assembly here is a, a passive ejector pump. Uh, so it's using the, the velocity of the incoming gases to recirculate the reactants that provides for a, a higher efficiency operation compared to a, a stationary um, dead-ended fuel cell. How much power do you get out of something this size? Uh, this particular size is sized for about a peak power of up to about six kilowatts. Uh, that certainly they're they're scalable. This is a 75 square centimeter active area. The active area will change. The cell count, the bipolar arrangement, will change to add add voltage. So they're they can be tailored to whatever voltage need, whatever power need is required for the application. If you had to try to do the same thing with a battery, how big of a thing would you be talking about? Um, it depends on the runtime. So a, a six kilowatt battery might be something the size of this tabletop, but only last for an hour, something like that. How long will this thing last? Depends on how much fuel you have. So it's uh, scale the size of your reactant vessels, and you can off you can you can run it for. We've we've done some demonstration t testing to to run the run the fuel cell itself for up to 7,500 hours. What kind of uh, platforms are using this right now? It, platforms that are all in development. So they're looking at extended missions again today. They're using, they're using batteries today, but they, they have a need. There's a logistical need to, to have longer run times. So this is in development for replacing batteries for longer missions for UUVs. Great. Well, that's interesting technology, Scott. Thank you. You're welcome.